During day one of the June 15th and 16th Naval STEM Forum in Alexandria, Virginia, Chief of Naval Research Rear Admiral Nevin Carr announced plans to award up to $8 million in the STEM Grand Challenge for ideas aimed at boosting K-12 education in the sciences. We in the Navy are very concerned about having um, the future talent pool of, of scientists and engineers that will that will conceive of, design, and build our systems and operate these increasingly complex technical systems that are going to drive the Navy and other militaries in the future. Throughout the day, about 600 participants from academia, government, and industry listened to speakers and panels and discussed effective STEM initiatives and education research proposals to improve learning strategies and reverse the downtrend in the number of U.S. students that presently pursue STEM careers. Navy Secretary Ray Mavis announced plans to invest $108 million in science and technology education by 2016, doubling the Navy's $54 million annual investment within five years. I think that we're going to have a lot of exciting work to do over the next five years in STEM education in the Navy. Mabus also spoke about an inspirational day he spent at the opening of the Navy's STEM-supported Iridescence New York office. One of the very best things I got to do was I got to go last fall with Admiral Carr to the Bronx and open a science and technology center for the Iridescent program in a low-income section of the Bronx where you can see see the skyline of Manhattan and to see the excitement, to see the wonder with these hands-on things they were getting to do. They wanted to, to be learning about this and that's exactly the way it ought to be. Iridescent works with elementary, middle school and high school underprivileged and underrepresented students and their families using science, technology and engineering to inspire children to become excited about learning. And my idea was to bring in new resources into an area that needs these resources. Um, and I know engineers and scientists want to get out of their labs. Um, they, have, they have the skills, they have the interest, they have the passion. So we're not asking them to change the career track. We're just asking them to learn how to, to, to share what they're interested in and to inspire children. So that's why we exist. Candida Desjardins of the Naval Undersea Warfare Center, who works with NAVSEA's STEM programs, talked about the value of the forum. What a conference like this gives us is the ability to meet with policymakers, to meet with senior leadership within the Navy, and to meet with teachers and universities who want to be a part of what we're doing, because we can't do it by ourselves. Lori Richman supports the STEM Sea Perch Underwater Robot Activities at small rural schools in Indiana. A program like Sea Perch has allowed us to come in to do some higher order engineering with those students who have not been exposed before. We do have to do it in a little different ways. We do not have natatoriums nor swimming pools. So one of our first Sea Perch schools, when they wanted to try out, they built their underwater robot. They were very excited. There's no pool. So they went out and back and there's a cow trough. So they put their Sea Perch in a cow trough and that's how we tried it. A featured speaker, Dr. Clifford Stanley, Under Secretary of Defense for Personnel and Readiness, underscored the importance of what we can do as the power of one. The power of one, us, each of us, we have the ability to affect and influence, inspire thousands, millions, if you want to look at it like that. And I've found, and you will see, that there are a lot of folks out there who actually have the potential. And sometimes it just takes a head shake, Sometimes it just takes us a smile. Sometimes it just takes that special interest. To further that interest and understanding, over 400 attendees participated in four facilitated breakout groups. Rooms were buzzing with shared conversations as participants were encouraged to exchange ideas and choose the most needed areas for future STEM challenges and possible solutions. Dean Kamen, inventor, businessman, and founder of the highly successful FIRST Robotics STEM program, encouraged everyone to get involved. I would just ask every one of you, get involved. You need these kids more than they need you. 
This country needs to change fast. You'll get more out of it than you put into it. It's fun. Whether you do it because you're a professional and it's professional responsibility, or you do it because you're a parent, or you do it because you're a concerned citizen, or you do it because the security of this country is at stake. We've made it fun, we've made it easy. Give it a try. Every kid in this country deserves this opportunity. Thanks. Day two of the forum will feature the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Gary Ruffhead, a student panel, STEM exhibits, and results from the collaborative STEM facilitation process.